Hello and welcome to this video of Microsoft Azure platform creating HD inside cluster. To do that, go to your Azure platform, cloud platform, and click on Intelligence and Analytics and click on HD Insight. This is the basic configuration here. Type BDCS as the cluster name or any other cluster name of your choice. Select free trial, the subscription or any other subscription. Cluster config. This would be Hadoop in my case, but you can choose HP, Spark, Storm, Hive, Kafka. I'm selecting Linux. You can select Linux, Windows, version of the Hadoop. Standard or premium. And these are the features available in a standard version. Once you have that, click on select. It says cluster type 2.7 on Linux. The cluster admin login ID and password. And set up the SSH user ID and password. You can select a different password for SSH. Or you can have the same password. Resource group. In the last video, we created a resource group. I'm, I'm going to continue using the same resource group. And say next. Once you have the basic configuration set, it goes to storage. I want to use the data lake store, which we created in the previous video. Click on configure required settings and select BDCS. The root path based on my last video was BDCS. configure required settings. So once you did that, you have to create a service principle. Now what is a service principle? It's a method to access the data, lo data lake store account. And it creates a token which is used by the HD inside cluster to access the data which is stored in the data lake store. I can create a new BDCS service principle, create a password, and confirm the password, click on create. It's always a good idea to download this certificate, and there's an option, access. This is very important. It gives the permissions to the entire data lake store BDCS, read, write, and execute to everything. And select and say run. You can select an SQL database for Hive, but for now, just select next and this gives you a summary of the HD inside cluster which is going to be created. You can change the cluster size from a default four node to a one 
as this is just a demo, I'm okay to have one node. You can see the features. And you can pick and choose how much do you want the worker node or the header node to be. And click on next. And click on next. And this is gonna be your summary. Once you are comfortable with the options, now click on create this is going to create your HD inside cluster 